Hey guys, welcome to Conversations with Sylvia. We're here today with mm. fine, <coughs> gentle <coughs> man. <Matt. coughs> <laughs> <laughs> We're here today with Clay. Clay, my kind, don't worry about it. Both of us have tested negative for COVID 19. Is the first thing you have said? Both of us have tested positive. <laughs> But if both of us have tested positive, that's okay we too as well, right? Because except there's an infection, because you look like a viral load could be high. But anyways, <laughs> yeah. So both of us have tested negative, so don't worry about all the touch, the yeah. touch, the touch throughout the video. Close proximity. This is Clay. Clay is the founder of um, MC Smart Homes. MC Smart Homes is on YouTube. You can search for MC Smart Homes and. The reviews and analyses of smart home technology and gadgets and technology as a whole. So Thank you very much. Stop trying to take over. Stop trying to plug in your show in Can my I? show. No, you I can't. can't. I mean, even if I wanted to. Even if you wanted to, baby, it's the Sylvia winding bag. Yeah, well, I know. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about. Uh, we're going to be playing a game that will bring up our topics that we'll talk about. He said I tricked him into this. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you that every party that you see on camera right now is a very willing party. Nobody was drugged, tricked into anything. Even mm -hmm. though, as we speak, Clay is owing me a Honda Civic. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe, click on the <laughs> notification button as well, Please. so that you get a notification anytime this business mm -hmm. produces something. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so ready for the game? I'm ready. Ready or yeah. not, here I come. <laughs> Where you at? The night is young. All right. So in here is our box of things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're getting any sound. Do you think the sound is getting into it? I don't know. My neighbors are having a party. Yes. And he never attends any of them because he's supposed to be the boring neighbor. But yeah, I'm having a party with my. Yep, he's having a party with his smart stuff. By the way, everything in his house is smart. Smart blinds, smart TV, smart everything. This is probably the only thing that is not smart here. It's a TV center kind of. And I love it. I plan on stealing it. Came with a big bag, so that's going to be possible. So, this is it works. You pick out a question, you read it out. Some of the questions will be for both of us, and both of us get to talk about it. We have very limited time to talk about it. I don't want to go by and be explaining. As you have seen that video of um, explaining what happened to your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, away. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so since you're my guest, I'll start. I'm oh, very rude. Nice. All right, so let's start with me. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Most annoying Cameroonian habit. Both of us have to answer. Um, what? Let me. Should I start? Yeah, you start. Okay. My most annoying Cameroonian. Remember, we're on a time limit, so you can't think too much. I think we should set the punishment. So for people that don't don't talk quickly, talk up quickly. What 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 do you say? Lunch date? How many lunches are you gonna get me? Because I'm going to win. No, I'm not gonna finish. Ah, a walk. A walk? Yes. What if I hate walks and I win? I know. It would be a gift and a curse. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. So here are my terms. My channel, my terms. So if Clay does not win, if Clay does not win at the end of this game, Clay is supposed to be getting me. So there's this pair of shoes I like that you're going to be getting for me if I win. Or if you're not getting that from me, since you're such a techie guy, you're going to be getting me there's this um, stand thingy that rotates and all of that. I'll show you. I put up a picture. You'll be getting that for me. So do I have to tell you what I'll be what, what do you want? What do you want? What I need. What do you, whatever, what do you need? I need um, a 
Air Jordan. What? Air Jordan. The show, is, the show is done, guys. Six so this is where we sleep. White. Oh uh, really? Well, that's fine. China got me. I mean, we could get, we could get it. What, what color do you want? You think one white? Six. Yeah. I, I have some guys in China that could whip that up like really that's, quick. That's cool. That's all I need. Really, really quick. I hope you don't mind falling over. All right. First question. Most camera, most annoying camera habit. You were going first. I was going first. The most annoying career habit is um, this thing we do when you ask somebody a question and they answer with a question. It's very annoying. I do it a lot because I am in that part of my life now where I really love rhetoric, but it's so annoying. Oh, Your turn. My turn. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm a sports fan, football fan particularly, but there's a hobby. Well, it's, it's almost everywhere, but I don't like always having arguments about who is best among two footballers. Oh, like the Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo thing? It used to be about Samuel Tolu de Drogba. Okay. They were two great players, but every time it gets a conflict. Yeah, yeah. guys do that a lot, pick places. Like oh, oh, you don't like it. I don't like it. I like to enjoy the game of football. I don't like all those arguments and all that. I play myself, so. Yeah, I think you're trying to plug it in like I'm a player, ladies, mm. I'm a... Whatever, okay. Uh, it's my turn. Okay. Yeah, okay. Your impression of Mr. Liu. Yeah. Uwe? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're actually supposed to do an impression of him like like this is Mr. Liu. Uh, yeah, but that's that's yeah. Uwe, then what? Maybe if you sing one of his songs and you know your mannerisms should be that's, like that's, 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 that's not a spot to be in. Not, not on your show. I think like half of your people would have to run away. Are you kidding? Like all of them are tuned in for this moment right here. Come on, go. Um, no. You can't say no. Um, which, which, which song? Any song of your choosing. Um, TikTok, TikTok. If anybody may not say, hey, I go some for the not for life. I can't remember, I'm sorry. I can't remember. So, at this point, I think it's safe to say that you're owing me one side of the issue. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Chessons or Sobans? Uh, wow. <coughs> To say that I'll feed the thief if I ever get asked this question after this show, I would go with Chessons. Pick, pick quickly, quick. You can't ask any question. I can, okay. This one is for four. Okay. Worst pick of line you ever got engaged. Worst pick of line you ever got engaged. What's the worst pick? You're a guy. Like, yeah. Do you use pick of line, by the way? On girls? No. You don't. Aw, oh, you just go in natural, like your your chill is beautiful. The moon and stars must have had a meeting the night. Heaven must be missing a danger. Cause you are here with me. Oh, you think so? Interesting. <laughs> I don't know if I've used that, but if I need to use it like Please if you're watching this and you're one of Clay's ex ladies. Let us know if he uses line on you, Heaven. No way. I like a, I like a, that's a line from Shaggy song. Shaggy. What's the name Shaggy? I'm that old school. I'm that old school. All right. So what's the worst? Okay. The what's the worst? No, that's oh okay. That's supposed to be the one. Yeah. Nah, I, I can't. I am not really big on on, on on lines like that. I'm I'm a little rugged. You're 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 a little too in inspired. You always just you just come up with the word. Yeah, you know. just just say stuff. Maybe those those words I say turn out to be lines, but it's never a line in my head. 
All right, worst piece of learning I ever got. I would never forget. I think eventually it became it became a joke or something, but you are as beautiful as a bitch. I do if your name be. <laughs> Someone actually said that to you. Yeah, they did, and I know a friend who got ngo. Like her own name was what ngo. You look like ngo. <laughs> what? Where do you guys? Where do you guys come up with these things from? We are inspired. <laughs> right. And worst pick of life I've ever given. I wouldn't know. I really don't use a lot of pick of lines on guys because I tend to go with the flow. But what I've given, I won't know. I'll contact the boys and let you know oh. what they think about my my lines. Right. Whose turn is it? Yours. Is what do you think about sliding into DMs? Oh, sliding into DMs. Yeah, like I mean, you're a nice guy. The girl slide into your DMs. What do you think about it? Nah, I I really trust me. I am. I'm just getting to be very social media friendly. Okay. I, so yeah, I what's never, the response so far from DMs? Well, I, I haven't had a lot of DMs. Well. I am getting a whole lot more attention on social media now. I won't put it on me like Clay's face. I'll put it on what I am doing. Oh, right. So yeah, he's, so he's, he's trying to shamelessly plug in the fact that he's becoming a star. He in fact, nah. is, uh, excuse me, please, this is my show. Okay. That he is a local celebrity thanks to MC Smart Homes. And so a lot of girls have been like, hey, you MC Smart Homes. Mm -hmm. I got to have your number. Well, not, not, a right not a lot of girls. Not a lot of people, but true, truth be told, a lot of girls. Are, I mean, I, I, I'm not saying particularly girls, just by the number. Okay. They are, it's yeah. okay to accept the beautiful women that stardom is bringing into your life. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they're actually coming into my life. All right. So, conclusion: you people have girls have not been sliding into your DMs. And trying to snuggle mm -hmm. up to you. Nah, just not really. Nah, nah. Oh well, I have. What do I think? I think sliding into DMs is very interesting because whenever I'm having a terrible day, I go back and I read, and I see I get all kinds of. The reason why I usually get answers on what speak online is because for some reason, Facebook is where all the terrible drama is located. So all those men that ask you all those funny questions are always on Facebook they slide into my DM a lot of the time and I but you're a lady, I they should fun. slide into your DMs I have fun reading it, you're a guy as well you're a mm. fine guy I, mean, mm. oh. I have fun reading them and I mean sliding into DM has gotten me a couple of gigs that gave me some money so I, I'm a f I, I, I don't mind but if you're being really um, insulted up front like when we just meet all that I block, I really do a lot of blocking I have a feeling blocking was meant for me well, good for you I don't, I don't get people sliding to my DMs mm. they slide into my DMs so bad I mean, you would think the road is bad alright okay advice to boys or oh, girls or oh, girls or oh, girls what would you advise in your case I need you to take this part of your chest. Make, it the makes camera. me feel like a wishes you can't see that, but I know. Just say very, one. Very, Just give what like, one piece of advice. Real. Well, one piece of advice. Yeah. I say is find who you are first before you find who you want to be. Because I think that is very important. And uh, some guys would want you to be who they want you to be. Wow. But that's. That to me is very limiting. Yeah. Let them find who they want in wow, you, this is, this rather is than trying to be who someone wants you to be. Because you cannot keep keep up with that for very long. I think this is really this is really deep. Like uh, um, find yourself first, which this is is really deep. I relate to you because I I have been in relationships in which I was just yeah. 
you know, I, I wasn't really sure about what was going on. And until I found myself, I was like, oh, God, this boy, give back my time. I want to use it. Um, what would I advise? My relationship advice to boys um, would be um, appreciate your partner for what she can offer and accept the things that she cannot offer. That's very true. I, I think I was watching um, a podcast just a few days Disney? ago. Uh-huh. Um, it's called Dear Future Wife. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, <laughs> sorry. Um, go on. It's, it's okay. Go on. You're my guest. I mean, I'm never this polite to anybody, so trust me. Yeah, and and some somewhat. That's that's what they were. He was talking about, and it's very, it's very necessary that you know what it is you you want you're giving an advice to the guys Mm -hmm. and find what you are looking for don't expect someone to come and become that become that yes oh wow if you're you're looking for a tall girl don't find a short one and hope that she becomes tall for a tdh girls know what i'm talking you know what tdh is no i don't and you don't know what tdh is sorry tdh is tall tall (coughs) let me see in my chat tall dark and handsome a lot of girls. You remember the thing in, in, in secondary school magazine, your dream man, mm. girls who wear, oh, I want a tall, dark, handsome man who has money and can fly me anywhere in the world, all of that. Those dreams are still coming true, by the way. Yeah, they so are. Don't give up hope. There's somebody that is really into the ball. Mm-hmm.